Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder and I'm here today with Georgina who's the editor of Skill Builder and today we're going to be talking about hard hats and bump caps. Which work, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you got to tell us, George? So yeah, I mean you're obviously familiar with bump caps and hard hats. Um, bump caps by all means look like uh, baseball caps but actually they've got this built-in protection um, which you can see in there. Mm. Um, so uh, some scenarios only a hard hat will do any scenario where there's kind of falling objects, construction sites. But there's also lots of situations where a bump cap can provide really good protection. So we've created a little quiz um, so you can test your knowledge and see uh, if you know which would be appropriate in which situation. We've uh, spoken to a few builders, been out and about and uh, even got the opinions of some very young, up and coming builders um, to, to test their knowledge. So see how you do. Okay. And we'll be back after the results. was pretty simple I think I've got a full score there well done well you would have done because you knew the answers anyway <laughs> didn't you but uh, yeah I think it was that was good yeah I mean it's pretty straightforward really as a general rule if you're protecting against a falling object you, you definitely need um, a hard hat uh, if you're in a situation where you're protecting yourself against static objects you know potentially an impact against those um, it might be worth considering a bump cap Obviously, you've got to do a risk, ass risk assessment for the specific circumstances. Um, and one thing also to be aware of is if you do have any, any kind of impact on either types of protection, you need to replace it afterwards. Oh, right. oh, okay. um, but yeah, I mean, you can, you can do some damage just in the kind of bump scenario, actually. Yeah. It, it is worth considering. And I know yeah. certainly plumbers and electricians and people in and out of the backs of vans and things all day um, yeah. do end up knocking up quite a few. Yeah, I've done a few, which is probably explains quite a lot about me really I've knocked my head more than times that I care to mention so but these are pretty comfortable and lightweight oh, actually fantastic. to wear aren't they um, I really wish these had been around when I was younger you know because I, knocking my head on the corner of a kitchen cabinet as I stood up when, as a plumber you know that can spoil your day it really can so this yeah it's got a lovely bit of padding isn't it it's got these uh side impact bits as well they're not exactly yeah they're just they're just like a shell aren't they so, and nice and breathable because that obviously yeah, puts people off wearing head protection doesn't it, when it's so, yeah. It's true. In a lot of cases, you think, oh, I can't wear a hard hat. I see plasters in, in rooms, you know, they've got to wear a hard hat because it's sight rules, but really there's nothing going to fall on their head. So something like this, if you can negotiate your way into it, if you're on a big site and they say, yeah, that'll do in that situation. Then, in the final then fix, that's yeah, good. Kind of, yeah. yeah. It's, it's all about final fix, yeah. isn't it, those kind yeah, of yeah. jobs. But, but anyway, yeah, good addition. And, uh, yeah, and we've got a couple to, to give away. So if you think you could benefit from a hard hat or a bump cap, um, just let us know why in the comments below and there could be one on its way to you. And let's face it, everybody, everybody can benefit from a hard hat or a bump cap, so you're in with a chance. <laughs> I'm Roger Bisbee, come back soon and see us at Skill Builder because we've got lots more coming up in the near future. Are you coming back, George? I'll be back, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See we'll you see again soon. soon.